a former first minister facing the music, fresh from her arrest as a police suspect examining SNP finances. It's not an easy uh, period, but again, I'm not saying that for sympathy. This is a serious process. At the centre of yet another media circus, Nicola Sturgeon was defiant. Would it be the best thing for you to temporarily step back, as some of your colleagues have suggested? I search my soul on these questions. What that would do, I think, would be to compromise uh, my ability and my right uh, to assert the position that I hold absolutely, which is that I have done nothing wrong. It has been a painful period. This is her house in April, raided by detectives as part of this long-running probe that has also seen her husband and the party's former treasurer detained and later released without charge. Yet again, this is the only story in town. Just at the very moment, the new First Minister here at Holyrood has been trying to move on, bogged down in discussions about his own party under police investigation, looking on as polls suggest the SNP's popularity is sliding. The last few weeks and even couple of months have been really difficult for the SNP, possibly even some of the most difficult months that we face as a party uh, in our recent history. What I can't allow that to do, what I won't allow that to do, is distract me from the job of not just leading this party that I love and that I've been a member of for almost 20 years, but importantly and crucially, leading the country. But the opposition say this is a government paralysed by chaos. It's all away from the business of dealing with the day-to-day, -day, the NHS crisis, the cost of living crisis, and more and more of this psychodrama that's around it. Nicola Sturgeon now wants to draw a line under this. Thank you all very much indeed. But she and her party are not in control of events as detectives continue their inquiries. Connor Gillis, Sky News, Edinburgh.